Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to be doing a care video for the Ball Python, or the also known as the Royal Python. Um, this right here is a Ball Python. Uh, it's a normal phase. It's, I've had this guy for about uh, two to three years. So, um, he's not full grown yet. We have to be three to four feet. So he's close, but I think he still has some growing to do. Um, I'm feeding him right now. I just started him on small rats. He eats frozen thawed. He had his first rat last week, actually, and he took it really well. So, yeah, I'm going to get started with the uh, care video for these guys. I'm going to put him back. Um, these guys are a great beginner snake between them and the corn snake I would say are the two best um, these guys can be in a 20 gallon long for uh, up till they're juvenile then I'd recommend like a 30 gallon I have mine in a 40 gallon breeder cause I'm planning to probably get another one once I find out the sex maybe breed them um, 40 ounce breeder, I'd probably say you keep two or three, depending on the size. Um, okay, so for these guys, you need temps on a uh, basking temp of, you want 90 to 95 degrees. Then for the daytime temperature, the uh, ambient daytime temperature, between 80 to 85. And then um, ambient night temperature. Uh, do not let it drop below 75, so like 75 to 80. Um, just like all other reptiles, you want to give them a heat gradient, so you want one side to be cool side, one side to be hot side. Um, so, like at nighttime, the temperatures don't need to drop below, you know, drop down on the hot side. They can still stay up at what, like a daytime temperature would be like 85 as long as they have a cool side access um for a substrate for these guys you can use aspen which is what a lot of people use for snakes uh, i personally use eco earth just because these guys like higher humidity and that helps with the humidity they uh, need humidity between 50 to 60 percent so you gotta make sure they have that otherwise you can get respiratory problems have problems shedding and so on um if you do use aspen, you can just make a humid hide for them. So to, you know, hide like that, and put in some eco earth in there, or uh, paper towel, wet it down, and uh, just put that on the warm side so it's humid. They have a place to go to shed. Um, you want to have a water bowl for them, big enough for them to soak in. Uh, there's some dirt in there right now. I need to clean it out. Um, change the water uh, you don't need to change it every day unless you see them in it or if there's poop in it because sometimes they will just defecate in their water dish or if there's dirt in it then you want to change it but you don't need to change it every day I'd say every other day um, you need two hides for them on the warm side one on the cool side because they do not like to really be out in the open much unless it's night time uh, you definitely want a screen top, a locking screen top, because these guys are pretty strong, can escape pretty easily. Um, I have three live plants in here, back there, one up here, and one back there. You don't need to have live plants in your aquarium, you can have fake plants, it's your choice, personal preference. I just like live plants better because um, if I do miss any fecal matter when I'm cleaning up if I miss like a little bit like a little drop falls off the plants can get rid of it usually fairly easily that's why I like to use eco earth too because if you have a moist uh, sub layer beneficial bacteria starts to grow down there so that's why I like to use it um they're not big climbers but I have mine personally I mean every snake's different I have found they have different personalities. Mine is actually a pretty big climber. Mine hangs on his logs a lot. 
So I have two, I have one here, a Y shaped one. That's the one he's usually on the most. And then I have this bigger one. This is just Riverwood, that at a Petco. Uh, I think it was like $15 for each one. Uh, not too bad of a price. But um, yeah, these guys, you want to feed them once a week, uh, except when they're babies, and I recommend feeding them twice a week. Uh, they usually start off on fuzzies, generally, because they're big enough. Then you just want to progress as the snake moves up um, to bigger meals. And they usually either stop at mice or will take small rats. They're not big enough to do like huge rats. So mine's big now that he can take small rats. So that's what he's taking right now. And uh, these guys are really tame, really handleable. As long as you handle them, they become very tame, very good snake. I would definitely recommend them as a first time snake. Um, that's about it for the care of these guys, I believe. Uh, help with the humidity, you can spray them every day, like you would do with, you know, gecko, some type of gecko or something. But, um, other than that, you just gotta, you can spot clean for poop, too, usually. Probably just wanna change the substrate about every six months, if you're using something like this. Uh, if you're using, like, paper towel, obviously, you just change it every week or something. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys are pretty easy to care for. Generally very tame. They have a very long lifespan, up to like 40 years. Even longer in some, some cases. But they are very good snakes. They will have no problem just hanging out on your arm, around your neck. Just chilling out. I've never uh, been bit or have one attempt to bite me. So, very good snakes. And uh, I definitely recommend them. So... Yep, just uh, look for my other videos. I'll be posting some more soon.